Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to OFF. Uh, last time we busted most of the way through zone... three. I forget where we are now. We're in area four, right? Last recording session, I mean. Yeah, they put the little things here to remind you. Oh yeah, I went into here. And Mr. Batter was just like, shit's locked, man. Oh, right. This is a, th this is a thing. How do you... Okay, so, um... We'll come back to this, but that's a whole thing. Hey, man, what's up? Oh, okay. We got all the warriors, so we may as well just auto on them. Cool. What up, man? I kind of wish I had gotten a little more grinding in before this. Um, but there wasn't, like, a good place to get away and get to uh, Zone 2. Because, yeah, I gotta go through Zone 2. And then after that, I also gotta go through the Purified Zone 3, so... I may as well just... Oh, it opens to brick wall. <laughs> the perspective was weird, but yeah, that just opens to brick. Apparently Elsons are just humans. I'm not entirely sure what that implies, but most humans I know don't go into raving like... Kyojin, essentially, this fucking titans because of a, you know, sugar, sugar problem. Nice. We just got levels. That's good. Weird. Desk goes through the wall, push it. Oh, yeah. Zachary, the batter, the director, and the judge. ZBDJ. So that relates to that other puzzle we saw with the uh, SNES controller. King. Inhuman decadence. I kind of love this way this game's like set up of monsters. Because all the monsters being ghosts makes perfect sense. Like, well, of course. <laughs> I may have some mischievous advice to relieve your mental suffering from a wrong dosage of difficulty. This time it's not for free anymore. I'm on the search for a particular object which should be around here somewhere. Bring me this intriguing item and I will open the doors of understanding for you. <laughs> I have forgotten what he wants and I forgot to read it on my walkthrough. Came down this way, didn't I? Friday's been found. <laughs> Neat. But yeah, like random battles. 
Random battles, to be perfectly frank, I believe were originally just added to add longevity to the game. But now they're just an institution in, you know, RPGs and you can't get away from them. But a lot of, a lot of RPGs have the idea of, you know, every encounter is visible on screen before... Let's see if you wanted this Friday. Every encounter vis is visible on screen. And off does both. <laughs> Damn. Should have figured. Well, let's see what the Friday does. Beneficial to competences. Oh, it boosts Esprit. By a lot, in fact. Well, by seven. Buff up Alpha. But yeah, on the idea of like, just things in the tall grass, right? Pokemon out there. How could you possibly miss some of them? Like sometimes it's like, oh, you didn't see this mouse in the tall grass, and that makes sense, you know? God, the fucking noise music is so loud. Oh, shit. But sometimes it's like, hey, somehow you missed this rhinoceros in the tall grass. It's like, how fucking tall is this grass? I can still see my character from the top. Why can't I see a big ass rhinoceros? Granted, Sword and Shield doesn't do that anymore. In addition to, like, fun. Sorry, but they cut my favorite Pokemon from Sword and Shield. Of course, this is recorded in advance, so if more DLC has come out, I don't know. But I think all that they announced was Isle of Armor, and that's it. Pretty sure we've already been down this hallway. My legs sting me. Ooh, freaky. Ah. Let's have you use an eye. I still burnt. Only one of those points. And a lot of competence points. Oh, right, it's this guy. Yeah. Get back in there. and then off again. And there's another one. I like how off does both, in that it has um, random battles that show up on the screen because they're ghosts. Of course they would be able to just sneak in here, you know? As we've been going, these things are just getting weirder and weirder. There we go. Beautified. Silent symbol. The city belongs 
to us. A musical box. Bring it, fool. So yeah, that guy gets the normal battle music, but like, he's definitely a boss. He's super not easy, you know? Man, Epsilon fucking drinks. Pumpkins. Drinks. See, I've always thought of this area as like a cooldown um, after killing the burnt Elson and outside. You know, it's like, huh, I've done a horrible thing. It's like, well, here's back to some, you know, less guilt related. <laughs> I have nothing but beautiful good things on me, so buy something, my friend. So I uh, read in French that the title of that book. Hmm, damn. The title of that book featuring um, nice. Uh, that guy killing the Toad King. In uh, the book, that you know, quote unquote, guy is explicitly mentioned as the merchant. And, you know, Masked Merchant kills the Toad King. Zachary is, in fact, a merchant. He wears a mask, multiple masks. And is even... Uh, wearing a Toad mask. But yeah, so that implies that uh, he's the guy in that story that kills the Toad King. And it's unclear what that actually means for the lore or anything. Get his ass. There we go. So this is all part of one of the weirder puzzles. <laughs> what do we have here? Wouldn't that be a music box? I must admit I'm highly interested in this object to acquire it is very near and dear to my heart. Would you agree to entrust it to me in exchange for a valuable clue? <laughs> Ah, beautiful, beautiful. What a smoothly conducted deal this was. Open your eyes widely and listen attentively to this welcome device of mine. In this game's folder, inside of your file browser, there is a readme file. Its name is not innocent. I advise you to read it assiduously. No. That's all. So yeah, you have to crack open the game's files. Zachary, of course, knows that he's in a video game, and knows that, in fact, it's also a PC game, so you can just crack open the README. Uh, you have to read that to get the clue, you know, clue, quote-unquote, but it's just the solution. Besides one thing, to figure out that SNES puzzle. However, on the README... I don't remember what that fucking thing was. Yeah. So... You also, the the buttons are, you know, it's a SNES controller, but the buttons are labeled ZBDD, ZBDG, J, fuck. And you just have to remember that. So yeah, I actually have to... I'll do it when uh, we get to the actual thing, but yes, we actually have to go into the readme file. The only way to solve this puzzle. There is no in-game way to figure it out. Which is intentional. Is that just at the end here? Here we go. Okay.
We have more on that in the bed. Alright, so it's down, left, up. Right. And then Z. J, which is the left one. Help me here. There we go. J. B. Director. And then start. One. There's another B shit. It I, <laughs> I have it open in a way where it goes to the next line. Fuck. Z J B T B Start. There we go. Shit, man. Alrighty. Now we just head on through. Executive sweet note. You shouldn't be here. You should not be here. Wild guess. All right. Five, three. Oh boy. Oh, it's upside down, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Three, so this would be six. Two, there's that five. Eight. I believe that the reason, by the way, that this is C instead of zero or anything, um, I imagine that it's the French word for start, commence, you know, commence. I've not actually played this game in French the whole way through, but hey, time to fight Enoch. Oops, spoilers. Hey, by the way, yeah, this guy's a very biblical name. What a weird room. I hope I don't have to walk through it while being chessed. <laughs> this is Enoch. Apparently, this is a human. Yeah, like, this is just a human. This is what they look like. Um... So... Let's give him a time. Oh fuck, what's his voice gonna be? Who are you? I'm the batter, and I've come to purify you, Mr. Director. Purify? But that's ridiculous. Nothing justifies this drastic measure. It was the Queen who sent you, wasn't it? Obviously it was the Queen. It must have been her. Be it as a man, I refuse. It's not a question of choice. You're the monstrous master of this horrible factory. I'm here to make you atone for your sins. Mm -hmm. Monstrous? Horrible factory? This is my fortress of happiness. My defense against the specters. Fuck, wow. People here were happy <coughs> before the phantoms arrived. Hi, I'm Yule Brenner for smoking. Suddenly, I still don't understand why the dead aren't disappearing. The dead? Mm -hmm. Well, yes, the phantoms. They're the souls of dead people. Has the thought never occurred to you? It's only logical. But you have nothing to do with the phantoms? Mm -hmm. Of course not. I mean, Doc, uh, guarding his own three. Our role, like that of all guardians, consists of modeling the energy swent by the Queen Mother to shape a solid context. I'm the living engine of Zone 3. Fuck. Queen lies on us to create living spaces for the people. We're a little like gods, drawn from the infinite power of the sun to sculpt our worlds into the nothingness. I love that metaphor. Yeah, like gods. Precisely. You demented child of evil. 
The last grain of sand has fallen through the hourglass of your life. Certainly not. No matter your physical strength, you can't withstand my excess weight. <laughs> That's actually the uh, director and developer uh, voicing him. I mean, it's just a little voice grunt, but that is Mortis Ghost. Fear me like the menacing shadow of your imminent extinction. <laughs> Look at this fucker. Give him a big bonk. All right, let's have you use the eye. Enoch, Garden of Zone 3. Hellfire, he's monstrous. Oh, I'm some exceptional. With that, exceptionally, fight is, flight is the only option. Just gotta wait until it's batter's turn again. He's far too strong. The option of the coward will be ours for once. Free quickly. Say, so this is a fight you gotta run away from. Whoops. Wasn't sure what I was doing there. What the hell? Why isn't it giving me the ability to escape? There we go. Damn, this lard ass is sturdier than expected. <laughs> to find another way to purify him. Ha ha ha! In the shadow of the valley of death, you shall fear the apostle of darkness. I'll kill you better. Look at his fucking walk cycle. <laughs> you were gonna wait a time in pathetical for <laughs> fuck. So yeah, that's the only time that batter swears, I think. Where he says, damn, what a lard ass. Direct is fast and very robust. We'll have to be inventive to get rid of him. <laughs> uh, and I believe that's a good place to cut it once I return to this save point. Hmm. I see. Well, uh, hey, this has been off, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming by. I've been Alfred. Have a good day.